YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be trading Kawhi Leonard off the San Antonio Spurs where two I'm not sure yet because if you guys know there's been reports that Kawhi wants out of San Antonio like he just wants out he doesn't want anything to do with the organization he's ready to move on which is crazy guys I absolutely thought this guy was actually going to sign an extension I know the rumor came out a little bit ago but you know or a couple days ago but I'm just now getting around to make it a rebuild over it so I think we're going to trade him to the Lakers or the Celtics. I'm not sure which one, but it's definitely going to be interesting. And then I can do a LeBron James, Kawhi, and Paul George Lakers rebuild if you guys want me to. I'm totally down for doing that. But I think if the Spurs are really going to trade Kawhi Leonard and are going to have to and they get young assets, I think it's time for the Spurs to start kind of a rebuild mode. So uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how the Spurs will take that. They've always been competitive. They've always been in the playoffs. It's just going to be a weird thing to see the Spurs maybe not in the playoffs so not sure how it's gonna work uh I could see them also staying competitive like keeping LaMarcus Aldridge I mean they made the playoffs with LaMarcus Aldridge as their number one option so I don't know man it's interesting for sure but let's go ahead and trade Kawhi Leonard somewhere I see the Lakers and Celtics which one do I like better for this video what I think is really weird about this whole situation though is that the Lakers could potentially blow up their young core just to acquire three major stars like you know it's, you know it's worth it it's just crazy to think about because the lakers have been in this rebuild mode where they've had well kyle kuzma was just a rookie this last season but they've had brandon ingram for some time now it's just weird to think about that they're they might be blowing up their young core now i don't know if this would be the trade or not but i'm gonna make this the trade today kyle kuzma brandon ingram and uh the 25th pick in this year's draft for Kawhi leonard straight up and uh they do decline but you know what we're gonna override decision and force the trade to go through just because we want the video to be entertaining and i think the lakers will be able to extend Kawhi, knowing that Kawhi probably wants to you know stay in los angeles to grow his market because that is where the big market players like to play is los angeles every player just gets every player that's a free agent like a major free agent gets connected to los angeles it's just the way it is like i don't know that's just the way the nba is now, I'm also debating on whether or not I should trade LaMarcus Aldridge right now because, I don't know, man. I just, uh, I think if the Spurs are really going to go full rebuild mode, I think they might as well. But knowing that Greg Popovich is still the head coach uh, for probably two more seasons, I probably won't be trading LaMarcus Aldridge because they're going to want to stay competitive of some sort. But uh, that would definitely be uh, a step in the different direction for the Spurs if they if they did have to get rid of uh Kawhi Leonard for sure and we still don't know what's going to happen but it sounds like Kawhi Leonard is as good as gone which is crazy to think about but we do have two first round picks so we could either package them uh or do whatever we want with them but let's just go ahead jump in the NBA draft and let's see what we can get for the 18th at the 18th pick and the 25th pick well, Wendell Carter Jr. is still available. Kevin Knox, Miles Bridges, Jerome Robinson, Dante DeVince. Yeah, Dante DeVince, or however you say his last name. Robert Williams III. What else? Landry Shamit, Isaac Bonga, Mitchell Robinson. So let's go with uh, Wendell Carter Jr. with his first pick because he's supposed to be like a top 10 pick, I think, or something like that. So we can get Wendell Carter Jr. for this first pick. And then we'll send to this next user pick. And then we're probably gonna be sending our these rookies to the G League so they can just progress really well. And then we'll be a nice young, like young squad. Like as soon as they come back from the G League, everybody will be uh, probably around an 80 overall, which would be nice, uh, definitely for the Spurs going forward. So what else do we got? We got Jerome Robinson, Mitchell Robinson still available, Brandon McCoy. Uh, I think I might go Mater Maker. I think I might, let's see. I'm not missing anyone real quick. Just put these in order. Uh, Jerome Robinson, Gary Trent Jr., Aaron Holiday. Uh, we could go Gary Trent Jr. Or we could go I uh, Mitchell Robinson. I'm going to go Gary Trent Jr. Just because I had him in the last video. And he progressed really well when I sent him to the G League. So, we'll go with that. And then I'll see you guys in free agency. And our starting five is as follows. We got DeJounte Murray, Danny Green, Brandon Ingram, Lamarck Seldridge, Paul Gasol, Rudy Gay, Cal Kuzma, Joffrey Laverne, and Patty Mills. So we definitely have an interesting rotation for Sir Wayne Selden and uh, Robert Williams III are in, uh, for, or Wendell Carter Jr., not Robert Williams, are going, are in uh, the G League. So they're going to progress really well and come back and be big contributors to this team. I think that they'll actually take up the starting shooting guard, starting center next year. 
and then we'll decide what we want to do on Lamarcus Aldridge. But other than that, guys, let's just see how this team does. Uh, I have a feeling it might go well. Uh, of course, we could trade Lamarcus Aldridge and have Kuk Kyle Kuzma start the power forward eventually. So a lot of options we could do. Uh, I think this first team will be in good hands. I think. Uh, they'll be okay they're definitely just gonna be it's just definitely gonna be a little weird to see the spurs you know fighting for a playoff spot rather than you know being a lock for a playoff spot all right guys so the spurs they're honestly not really doing much and this was really tough like i really couldn't find a good trade for all the marcus soldiers because we just need to get the man out of here basically i don't think he needs to be on the spurs anymore i just think that it's time to let him go and then we got the utah jazz pick alec burks ricky rubio and tony bradley so let's see if they'll take this i think they should be i think they should honestly because this would give the jazz another star to play alongside donovan mitchell then aldridge and rudy gobert down low that would be very interesting we get two expiring contract alec burks ricky rubio and we get a nice young player in tony bradley and the jazz pick so our first rounder so we're not interested in this trade Let's see if we can uh, sweeten up the deal just a little bit. And they're still not interested. All right. Uh, pretend I don't throw this first router in here and they agree. All right. So because I really don't feel like making that trade up again. Uh, that first rounder was not there. Just remember that. Okay. Other than that, let's see what they got the rotation. Now, Ricky Rubio, Alex Burks, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzman, Pau Gasol, Rudy Gay, Dejounte Murray. I really don't care about the rest of the season. We really are super bad. So, I mean, we're just really going to tank the rest of the way. So let's just see how it goes. All right, the Lakers with Kawhi Leonard still didn't make the playoffs, which is weird. And the Jazz didn't make the playoffs either. So we're probably going to get a lottery pick with them as well. As long as it doesn't fall in the top three, we will get a lottery pick, which is going to be awesome. But similar with the playoffs, and let's see how this goes. And let's see how Kawhi Leonard did on the Los Angeles Lakers. I am interested about that. So let's go ahead and look. Kawhi Leonard on the Lakers. How do you do? Player stats real quick. Uh, we got Rudy Gay leading the way. That's not going to happen next year because he won't be on the team. But for the Lakers, Kawhi Leonard, 23 points. Avery Bradley was second. Steven Adams. Yeah, their team's definitely not going to look like that. So, uh, all right, whatever. Player retirement. Dirk Nowitzki retires with the Wizards. He always seems to retire with the Wizards. Kyle Korver retires with the Cavaliers. And then this is where I am saddened to say that I think after this season... I have a feeling the Spurs and Greg Popovich, it won't be a firing, but I think they'll mutually agree to part ways. So we have the sixth pick and we have, do we not have our pick? Oh, and we have the 12th pick. So two first rounders in the lottery. I can not complaining about that at all. So this is where I have a feeling the Spurs could potentially part ways with Greg Popovich or he will he will step away like I don't think the Spurs would choose to part ways with him I think he'll choose to step away just because this team isn't ready to win a championship anymore and there's really no point for him to wait it out but for the video I'll keep him around so uh I'm not gonna worry about that but the sixth pick and the 12th pick we could get some nice value but Gary Trent Jr. and Wendell Carter Jr. are gonna be nice but uh, Patty Mills contract is not working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and trade him right now. I don't know what we're gonna get uh, Let's see Jay Crowder. I could take I could I could live with a Jay Crowder on this team. That would be awesome uh, Jeff Green be a nice veteran presence on this team Cody Zeller Courtney Lee John Lower, Andrew Roberson and then Jay Crowder in a second round pick I mean we can do this. We could live with this Jay Crowder. Welcome to the team. You can come off the bench and it'd be an interesting team to have you uh, also have you on the team. So we have the sixth pick and the twelfth pick. You know what? It can't go wrong there. So we're gonna have a starting center, starting shooting guard, and a starting small forward so far, and a starting power forward. So really, what this team really needs is a point guard. So if I can't get a point guard at the sixth pick or twelfth pick, you best believe I'm trading for one because there's no point of taking another player if I can't get a point guard. So let's see what's available i don't even think there's very i don't think this draft class is very top heavy in point guard so uh i'm not sure if i'll be able to get the value i want here so let's see what we got um etwan taft jb Kamen. yeah none of these are none of these are working for me there's no point of me taking any of these guys so i could take sharif o'neal but that wouldn't really do anything so let's see what we get for the six and the 12th pick two lottery picks for a point guard i want a nice point guard not just some mediocre point guard out of the woods or something like that okay neither nobody those picks aren't getting me nothing six pick 
DeAndre Jordan, Dennis Schroeder. I mean, Dennis Schroeder, I guess, would be okay. But I'm looking more towards a better point guard than this. So, or you know what? I guess we could always go point guard in free agency. But so far, Ramiro Langford, Bol Bol, Zion Williamson. So all the good players have been picked so far. So uh, who do I go with? I don't know. Etuan Tapp, Kobe Washington, uh, Matthew Hodges, Sharif O'Neal. Who else is out here? Tillman McKenzie, Malik Douglas, Yudoka, as a Zubuki, or however you say his name. I think he's pretty. I think he's decent, so I'll probably take him with the 12th pick. But Kobe Washington, I don't know, man. I, I I really don't like this draft class. I think it's it's just not very good. Like, it's not a very good draft class. So, you know what? I guess I might as well just take whatever. So, let's just go... Sharif O'Neal. They're probably not going to be very important. So this sucks because I, I think this draft class is lacking a lot of potential right now. That could change. Definitely could change, hopefully, because I'm not liking how this 2019 draft class is looking so far. I'm not going to lie. Uh, obviously, though, we are not even like we're focused on the 2018 draft class right now. So we're not really too worried about that. Uh, all right. Who else is left? Did they take? No, they did not. So I'll just take him and then we'll call it good. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in free agency where we're gonna get a point guard. So realistically, if you're the San Antonio Spurs, you have a ton of money in cast space, but like, are any of these guys really like, I mean, are any of these guys, you got DeJounte Murray already at the point guard, which is, he's not bad. He could progress very well. Gary Trent Jr. will be a nice shooting guard. I basically have my starting five as is. So now I'm just looking for some bench pieces or I could have a better point guard starting. But the point guards that are left, Kimba Walker, I don't know. I just don't like him on the team. I just don't think it makes a lot of sense. As far as a realistic standpoint, you have Isaiah Thomas, Darren Collison, Malcolm Brogdon. But I mean, what do they really bring to the table that DeJounte Murray does not? I mean, they're just... I mean, Kimba Walker is... If I were to send a point guard, it would be Kimba. But I just don't think... It makes a lot of sense to throw 32 million at Kimba if you're the Spurs. So, I mean, what else could you do? You could bring in some nice bench pieces for sure, though. I mean, like a backup point guard. I don't know. You could bring in uh, George Hill one more time. Terry Rozier. You could bring in Malcolm Brogdon even. Collison. Isaiah Thomas for one season. Just a lot of things you could do. But I think Darren Collison would be an interesting pickup for one season. Uh, I'm being realistic here guys, so I'm not trying to go out and sign crazy free agents right now. Rodney Hood is another interesting one uh, that you could bring in. KCP, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for Rodney Hood as well, just because I think he'd be an interesting pickup for the Spurs. Come off the bench. KCP, Lance Stevenson. Like I said, you could, you could even do KCP, so I'll go ahead and throw him a contract as well. We get... Uh, a Darren Collison signing and a KCP signing. Rodney Hood goes back to the Cavaliers, so I can live with that. Uh, other than that, I mean, you could go heavy. You could go crazy at the center position, get Carl D. Towns or Jokic, but I think the I think they'll both be back with their prospective teams that are they are on right now. Um, I think really, if you're the Spurs, I know I didn't do much in this video, but if you're the Spurs, you wait it out and you go with the. The team you got right now. I mean, I could use a better backup center, though. That's for sure. So, if I can find a better backup center, I will do it. Dwayne Dedman would be nice. He just played for the Spurs at one point. And he goes to the Golden State Warriors. So, missed out on him. Ed Davis, JaVale McGee. I'll go JaVale McGee. And he accepts the other offer. All right. So, now, uh, Tyler Zoli, Willie Reed, whatever... Willie Reed goes to the Mavericks. Okay, can I not just draw in a center? Like, come on now. Uh, I see a Thomas Terrozier, Trey Lyles, Upper Payton are all left. Ooh, Jordan Bell would be a nice pickup uh, to be the backup center. I'm going to go ahead and throw him a hefty contract. 12, see if the Warriors match that. They do not. All right, so I think Jordan Bell is a nice pickup. He could be the backup center. Or play the backup center anyway. Collison goes down one. Gary Trent Jr. is up seven. Wendell Carter Jr. is up six. Brandon Ingram is up four. So, yeah, basically, this team is very young, and that's what you expect. I think the Spurs are going to be a young team going forward. Although, like I said, I could see them going the competitive route as well, like how the Clippers are. They're like, you know, uh, yes, we do need to rebuild, but we also are going to stay competitive. So, like, I, I, I can always uh, 
live with that route as well because it'd be fun to watch your team still progress while they're staying competitive so now i'm gonna go ahead and do this though kyle kuzma i want you to the small forward and then let's see how that looks so we got darren collison kcp brandon ingram jordan bell Wendell Carter jr kyle kuzma i actually want to start and then jay crowder ron no okay hold on hold on we got to fix this so i'm definitely going to fix this real quick and then uh I think this team, yeah, so, well, let me see, let me see real quick. All right, so, this is actually how this is going to go. And then, this is how this is going to go. And then, you don't get no minutes from Baker. Although, I do respect you out of Wichita State. And then, uh, yeah, so, we're going to be doing that. Collison, Gary Trent Jr., Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Wendell Carr Jr., Jordan Bell off the bench, Dante Murray, Jay Crowder, KCP. All right, this team's not bad. It's not bad, for sure. So, let's just see how this goes. I hope that uh, maybe we can make the playoffs, make some noise. Rookie of the year is Wendell Carter Jr. with 20 and a half points, 11 rebounds, and two blocks. So very awesome. I'm actually really glad. And defensive player of the year. So rookie of the year and defensive player. So you know what? I can live with that. And on the All NBA first team. All right. So Wendell Carter Jr. is a a god on here, I guess. So I don't know. That was crazy weird to look at. So All Defensive second team, All Rookie first team uh, is a. Gary Trent Jr. is on there as well. So we went 49-33, the fourth seed in the Western Conference of this young gun team. You know, it doesn't really surprise me just because Greg Popovich is our head coach and he's a good coach. So Wendell Carter Jr., Brandon Ingram. So uh, definitely was a very nice team. I think uh, we had a lot of, yeah, we had a lot of players in double digits. So really can't complain about that. So let's see if we can uh, make it to the second round with this young gun team. We are up 2-0 on the Dallas Mavericks. They uh, might be evening it up. No, we're up 3-1. And we move on in five. All right. So, you know what? I can definitely live with that. All right. So, facing the Golden State Warriors now. So, probably a massive fat 4-0-L to us is about to happen. We actually even it up. So, all right. Uh, the fact that we're even in six games with the Spurs right now is actually kind of amazing me. So, let's see if we can force game seven. And it looks like we're going to. And never mind, they literally pulled away at the very end. All right, so, uh, okay. Wendell Carter Jr. led the way with 17 and 14. Clay Thompson, 32, 27, 10. All right. Uh, same like the rest of the playoffs. And uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below right now if you guys do want to see uh, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Paul George, Lakers rebuild tomorrow. I will do it if you guys want to see it. Uh, just real quick playoff stats. Wendell Carter Jr. Did uh, Kawhi Leonard see on the Lakers? I am uh, curious about that. Um it looks like he did. Did they even make the playoffs this year? No, they didn't make it again. All right. Uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Crushable, and I'm saying peace.